For thousands of years, the Seine has been a liquid highway connecting places and people across France. Barges floating along the Seine were a common sight, carrying sand, coal, grain, and of course, wine. This method of transport was much cheaper and faster than hauling goods over land. But when railroad lines and highways took over in the 19th and 20th centuries, the barge industry plummeted. Today, it is difficult to imagine what everyday life on the Seine once looked like. Filmmaker Aurore Chauvry captures it in a documentary called Aboard the Go-Ahead. She tells the story of Arlette Renault, a barge woman who grew up and worked on a barge, just as her parents and grandparents had done before her. Life was hard. For 22 years, Arlette drove the boat, emptied the oil tank, chopped wood, maintained the engine, scraped and painted the hull, and bailed out water, sometimes by hand. Barge workers called batelier kept to themselves. They were mocked and discriminated against. But Arlette remembers it fondly, her children playing on the deck, building castles and digging holes in the sand. She adored freedom on the barge. Then she divorced an abusive husband and was forced to live on land. She says she now feels trapped like a bird in a cage. In 1950, there were about 15,000 bargemen on the Seine. Today, only about a thousand are left. But once a year, they congregate in Conflans saint honorine a town on the Seine west of Paris, where they celebrate the culture and history of barge life. There, the spirit of the bargemen lives on. <laughs>